hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be discussing six things to do once you land in canada as an international student if you see me looking down i'm just looking at my notepad here so the first thing upload your study permit to the school all right so some schools they have a portal where you're able to upload your study and your work permit if you have a work permit right so in my case my school my school has an international portal where i was able to upload my my study permit and my work permit my work permit is a co-op so i'm able to do like um with the work permit i'm able to do my internship with it so my postgraduate diploma has a field placement right so when you have a field placement you'll need you'll need an additional thing so the study permit you'll need a work permit so that's where that comes in so ensure i repeat ensure once you land you upload that to the portal because every school has a deadline my deadline was anytime before january the 9th january the 9th was the first day of classes right so my school wanted my my study permit before that so just bear that in mind so when you land right at the airport the airport i went to was the the toronto wait toronto pierce the international airport that was the airport right so when i land um i was given a study permit and the work permit as i explained so you'll receive that once you land so you you won't be able to have that document or those documents beforehand to upload to the school right so the school is aware of that yeah so when you land you might not be able to you know be close to a scanner or something like that so you can improvise and use like a cam scanner this cam scanner app where you use your phone your mobile phone to scan the the permits and upload it so it will scan it and then you'll be given a digital copy of the scanning so instead of you using a a printer with a scanner on it you can just use a cam scanner app all right so the next one number two attend your orientation or campus tour preferably in person the reason why i say this it is very important for me my orientation well my campus tour was was done during orientation week i wasn't here for the entire orientation week i did some of my orientation online before i came here in canada right but once you're able to do a campus tour before you begin classes i would suggest you do that the reason why i say this when i was on my campus tour right um i was able to find my classes before before um before before we call it before the semester begins so i was able to say okay my class is at um floor one and the class is like two two three for example so i said okay i look at my timetable and i was like okay the class is here to there you know so i was able to pinpoint i said okay this is floor one this is floor two my class will be on floor five for example so just remember if you can attend a campus tour this will help in the long run all right so the next one number three get a presto card so the presto card is used on the ttc buses here right the ttc just stands for toronto transit company so uh, to be honest if you're that this is if you're not driving right so if you're taking the bus the subway stuff like that you will need a presto card or some people use like all right, some persons you can go to the presto machine and you can, you know, you can request to get um, we call a daily pass where you can use for the day and stuff like that. But I have a presto card where I can go and I can just basically just top up the card as I go. So I do, I usually top up like every two weeks or stuff like that. So the presto card is very useful for that. Um, and by the way, students are able to get discounts. So find out if your school is eligible to receive discount, discount sorry, on your Presto card, okay? Next one, number four, open a bank account. This is very important. So currently I opened a bank account with CIBC, right? So I have a checking account with C 
CIBC. The reason why I chose CIBC is because, all right, CIBC in Jamaica is a good bank, right? So, you know, I heard good things about that bank. So I said, all right, when I come here, I'm going to join CIBC. So I went there, um, to, to, you know, to join the bank and stuff. They told me that since once you're under the age of 25, 25, you're able to get a, um, we call it a checking account where you're not able to, you're not going to pay any transactional fee, but for savings, you'll pay a transactional fee of $5, right? Per transaction. All right. So the other banks that allow international students to open free account, they are TD, Canada Trust, Royal Bank of Canada or RBC, Bank of Montreal, BMO, and you have Scotia Bank, just to name a few. All right. Number five. So um, number five on the list, go to Service Canada to get a SIN or social insurance number. So SIN is just short for social insurance number. All right. So this is given to, to Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or temporary resident. So you're able to work in Canada using your SIN number, your SIN, or to receive benefits and services from the government programs here. Okay. The next one, number six, get a SIM card. I repeat, get a SIM card. So before coming here, you can actually apply to get a SIM card. So for me, that's what I did. So I apply before coming here for a SIM card. The only thing you will need for this, you will need, um, you need to send them a copy of your, your student visa or a copy of your, your approval letter. So I send them a copy of my student visa, right? All right, remember, this is important because when you land you're able to activate the sim so when i requested that before i came here when i land the sim was delivered to my address and this this the next day after requesting it so i was able to activate it and i was able to use the data because here it's very important to use gps gps is it's your best friend once you land here because you're, you're new to the environment. You don't know where that place is. You don't know where this station is, this Union Station or, for example, you know, so getting a SIM is very crucial here because GPS is essential because you can ask around and stuff like that, but the GPS would actually show you, so, okay, the bus is coming in X time. You can take this bus to X point and stuff like that. So those are the six things I would do once I land here in Canada. That's what I did. So hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all of that. So yes, so stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Bye.